friends, I'm Melanie and you're watching AKA Mommy. And in today's video, I wanted to go ahead and start basically a very short series that I'm going to do here on my channel in which I'm going to share with you my curriculum choices for the 2017-2018 school year. We are a homeschooling family and I do have four children, three of whom are actually school age children. So I want to go ahead and start sharing what we're going to be using for curriculum. But before I get into that, let me just say, if you are brand new to my channel, then welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to open this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, then thank you so much for coming back. All right, friends, so the curriculum that we are going to be discussing today is our science curriculum. Now, before I show you what we are going to be using, I did want to go ahead and put out there and say, we are a part of a homeschool co-op and um, we have the option through our co-op co to let our kids take science and so we choose to do that. We don't have to do it through our co-op, but I really like allowing the kids to participate with other students, and so we do that. And so this is the curriculum that our entire co-op will be using, but I'm pretty sure that even if we weren't a part of this co-op, that we would be using the same curriculum because I just really, really like it a lot. So the curriculum that we are going to be using this year is basically all from Apologia. Now I'm gonna start with my youngest school age child who will be going into second grade this year. I cannot even believe he's going to be a second grader. It kind of blows my mind. Is that, yeah, he's going to be in second grade. I can't even believe it. So for him, buying textbooks for him is optional. I do not have to buy textbooks for him, but I know that he really enjoys having them and being able to sit down and read through textbooks um, and so forth when his sisters are doing school. <clears throat> excuse me. And so I did go ahead and splurge a bit and buy textbooks for him, even though they weren't required. And what he is going to be using this year is called Exploring Creation. And he is going to be learning about land animals. Now this, this most recent year that we are finishing, he learned about creatures, um, flying creatures This is the one he did. This year he will be doing land animals. And so this is going to be his textbook. And I'll just show you kind of the inside of it. Um, this is something that we will sit down together and read um, just kind of as he's going through it. But as you can see, there's really cool graphics and some of the words are going to be above his reading level, I'm sure, but a lot of the words he'll be able to handle. So here's what the inside of it looks like. And this is basically, this is part of their Young Explorer series. And so what came along with that or what I purchased to go along with that is the junior notebook. I did purchase him the notebook, again, completely optional, but he's at an age where he finds doing school to be really fun still, or at least certain parts of it, and I wanna try to encourage that. So I went ahead and got him his own notebook, and um, really and truthfully, this is just kind of a standard notebook. Um, I'll show you, like right here, um, there's some coloring pages in it. So he'll get to do coloring pages and then, you know, you flip over the sheet and there's some, a, a sheet where he can write down facts about, um, carnivorous animals. And so let's see what else is in here. Oh, and I really like this a lot too, because this is, he, it, within this book, he has the ability to do copy work, which I'm not really all about busy work for my kids, but at his age, he really needs to work on his handwriting. And so this kind of incorporates that some too. So at the top, it says, yes, Lord, she said, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table, Matthew 15, 27. And so he can read it from up here and then write it down here. Now, this is, above his level. It says the exact same thing in cursive. He is not writing in cursive yet. He's barely writing in, in you know, standard manuscript. So, um, yeah, it's just, just a fun little notebook for him to work through, and we will um, just go through it together, basically. More than anything, I just wanted to get him these things because I really, like I said, I want to encourage that um, excitement for learning that he has right now. So this is what my second grader will be using um, for next year. 
Okay, so moving on to my next daughter. The next oldest student that I have will be going into eighth grade. And she will be taking, again, Apologia, but she will be taking physical science. Now this is the class that I actually taught within our co-op this most recent year that we are just, we are literally three days away from finishing school, you guys. We're so excited. Um, but I taught physical science this year. And so this is the class that my oldest was in this year. So um, she will be moving up and my junior high student will be in this one. So I'm really kind of glad that I taught this class because if I had not, I can tell you there are some things in this book that would have been really confusing to me. So I'm, I'm glad that I kind of have a, a leg up on that one. So she will be taking physical science. Here is her student notebook. Again, it's just the notebook that comes with it. This actually is what she will do the majority of her work in for her class. Um, I know that because I just finished teaching the class and basically it's just a standard notebook. She, um, as they read through the different modules in this book, which is basically the same as chapters, they go through here and they fill it in and, um, and then towards the end, there is a section, a study guide. So this is what they fill in as they're reading. And this is what uh, she will be using. And I, I don't really know if it's going to be difficult for her or not. I know that there are some things that she's going to need help with because I'm a grown up and some of these things were a little bit confusing to me. Um, but yes, that is what my eighth grader will be using this coming year. Physical science with Apologia. Okay, and my last student who is school age will be in 10th grade this year. Like, what? <laughs> I will have a 10th grader. I'm just, I cannot believe my kids are getting so big so fast. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. So she is going to be taking biology. Again, through Apologia, like I said, we do use these because of the co-op, but I just, I love the books. I love the information. I love the way that it's presented. It is all, um, it's a creation-based, right here, creation-based biology course. And, um, I am actually going to be teaching biology this next year. So we will get to go through this together. And I am really excited about that because I love biology. I love learning about the human body and just living things in general. And I do know that this is going to cover a whole lot more than just the human body, but I love, I just adore biology. So this is a much bigger book than the one she had last year, but we're excited about it. And here is her student notebook. Again, it's huge. It's a very, very large notebook. Um, but yes, that is what she will be using. And it's pretty much the exact same thing as the other notebook. It just has you work through it as you're going through the chapter. Biology is is largely learning vocabulary words. Um, it's basically just learning what all of these things are. And that, that's just a big, big part of it. So, um, I don't really know what else I can show you or, you know, say about this particular, about this particular book. But yeah, basically standard biology notebook labeling the different parts of a female spider. Lord help me if we I actually have to touch a female spider. <gasps> I may be out sick that week. And then the last thing that I got um, is primarily because I will be teaching the class is the solutions and text, tests manual for this class. And of course it comes with um, the tests and Yes, we do give our kids tests. So that is everything that we are going to be using for science for the 2017-2018 school year. Um, I will be ordering our history curriculum or our core curriculum as well as math curriculum. And I think that there's another one. I feel like there's one more. Maybe not. That might be it. Um, but I will have individual videos put up for you guys as I'm ordering curriculum. Now I will go ahead and tell you that I will be ordering um, a new curriculum basically about one a month and so I will be ordering one in the month of May, one in the month of June, and probably finishing up in the month of July. 
So I will most likely only have one of these videos coming up every month, but by the time we start our next year's curriculum, I should have everything. I believe that the next curriculum I'm going to be ordering will be our core curriculum, and so I will be sharing with you guys what we will be using. I will go ahead and give you a heads up and tell you it is not the same one that we used this year, which was Tapestry of Grace, and when I share that with you guys, I will explain why we made the switch on all of that but for now that is going to be it i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video if you are not already subscribed to my channel and you would like to be there will be a button that will pop up i believe right over here it'll be my picture and you can uh click on that and it'll it'll subscribe you to my channel or it'll help you to subscribe and if you missed my most recent video you can check that out right over here and until next time guys i hope that you are all doing very well and that you're very very blessed take care